for August 4th, 2015. It is a Tuesday morning and it is a stormy morning for some. Some some people woke up to thunderstorms capable of wind damage. There's some pretty significant wind damage over Long Island, uh, frequent lightning, some heavy downpours. Woke some people up, woke me up. So what happened here? Well, we had a strong disturbance ahead of the cold front moved through the region. That's what caused our showers and thunderstorms. It's also a warning sign. Could we see the same thing this afternoon and evening? Well, let's dive into some of the data and take a look. First of all, our observations this morning range from the lower to mid 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s in your western suburbs, and lower to mid 80s already over portions of the coast and in your urban areas. Temperatures this afternoon will rise into the upper 80s to lower 90s over much of the region. Lower to mid 90s are possible in the Delaware River Valley, especially in Philadelphia. We have winds from the southwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour. That will increase to 10 to 20 miles per hour as we go on through the day. On our radar, you can see the cluster of showers and thunderstorms is now well off the coast and jetting off into uh, New England. But you can see we have another line of showers and thunderstorms starting to develop back here over the Great Lakes. And we also have a tropical disturbance down here around the South Carolina coast that we're watching. This won't be too much of a threat for our neck of the woods, but we're going to have to watch to see as it moves over the Gulf Stream. It could actually develop into a tropical depression. Not really all that impressed with it, but we'll watch it very carefully. On the infrared satellite picture, here's our disturbance from this morning, and you can see those thunderstorms just kind of blew up ahead of that disturbance right there. Now here's the cold front. So what we can expect is that this cold front is going to approach this afternoon and evening and you're going to see widely scattered showers and thunderstorms and some of these thunderstorms will be rather severe capable of wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, frequent lightning, hail, even an isolated tornado and of course heavy downpours. Not everyone's going to see these thunderstorms. See the way that the pattern is setting up is that we have a couple of areas of distinct enhanced lifting. You have New England, you have the southern mid-Atlantic, and you have portions of the northern mid-Atlantic. And what we're going to be watching for is where do the strongest thunderstorms develop. In convective weather, which basically means thunderstorms, you have strong rising motion and as a result, strong sinking motion. So what we're going to watch out for is if we get strong to severe thunderstorms develop, let's say around Washington, D.C., up towards Maryland, that would kill the threat for thunderstorms in our neck of the woods because of sinking air. If you get strong to severe thunderstorms over New England, then that also would probably kill your threat over, let's say, the New York City metro and portions of Connecticut. However, if you get those strong to severe thunderstorms start to fire out here over central Pennsylvania, then we are in for a very, very active evening. So we're going to watch that very carefully as we move on through the next uh, several hours. The threats there, the potentials there, it's widely scattered, but if you get hit with one of these thunderstorms, it's going to be rather impressive, and you're definitely going to feel it. If you don't, well, consider yourself lucky, because after that, the humidity drops, and if so do the temperatures, and we end, we start to move into a rather cool weather pattern. Unfortunately, it looks like it's also going to be rainy towards the end of the week. So let's dive into some of this data here via the European model guidance from the... So here for today, again, we have our cold front moving through the region. Look for widely scattered showers and strong to severe thunderstorms. Look for high temperatures today in the upper 80s to lower 90s along the coast and lower to mid 90s in your urban areas, especially in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Now that cold front clears out and by tomorrow, high pressure will be taking hold. Look for temperatures to range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows mid to upper 80s for highs, but you'll definitely notice a difference in the air mass as the humidity will be far lower. Now by Thursday, things get pretty interesting. We start to see clouds increasing throughout the region on the day. This disturbance right here, we're gonna watch very carefully because this disturbance is being blocked by this block right here. This is called a negative NAO pattern. Now it's not textbook as what you would see in the winter because the whole polar jet stream is further north. That should be this time of year. But what it does is produce enough of a block to force this disturbance to basically tilt negative, which just goes in this direction, and enhance a low pressure system along the mid-Atlantic coast, especially around Delaware, up through the New Jersey coastal waters on Friday. 
So on Thursday, look for increasing clouds and showers by the evening, low temperatures in the mid-60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower to mid-80s over the Delaware River Valley. On Friday, it looks like it's going to be a rather wet day. You can see that trough going negative here, that low pressure system is intensifying. Moisture is being pulled in from the Atlantic. You can see that at all levels of the atmosphere. So we got a rather significant uh, rainfall event developing for the region on Friday. And notice our high pressure system up here around Quebec and around the Hudson Bay is blocking the movement of the slow pressure system from heading out into the Atlantic and funneling cool air down the coast. So look for temperatures on Friday to range from the mid 60s for lows and only the mid 70s for highs. We should be in the mid 80s. We're going to be about 10 degrees below where we should be with periods of rain throughout the day on Friday. It's uh, not going to be the best day that is for sure for any outdoor activities. That low pressure system will slowly exit out of the region by the time we get to Saturday. Look for scattered showers lingering on Saturday morning followed by clearing skies slowly on Saturday afternoon. Not the best day for outdoor activities. It's going to feel rather raw and wet out there with low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. High temperatures in the lower to mid 70s along the immediate coast. Mid to upper 70s in the Delaware River Valley. I would not be surprised if we get this low pressure system to move slow enough that some temperatures, let's say on Long Island and Connecticut, struggle only in the upper 60s. It's going to be a rather raw day out there, that is for sure. That low pressure system exits and high pressure takes hold on Sunday. Clearly better of the two days for this upcoming weekend with low temperatures in the mid 60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s throughout the region. And then on Monday, another cold front will approach the region with scattered showers, low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, pretty much where we should be for this time of year. That is your forecast discussion for today. I just want to also bring up a couple of the points here real fast. Again, this is the latest WPC forecast from the uh, National Weather Service for Friday, for Thursday afternoon on through Saturday morning, should I say. Looking about a half an inch to an inch of rain over the interior, an inch to possibly as much as three inches of rain along the coast, more likely one to two for most and isolated heavier mounts with some heavier downpours. So it's going to look pretty ugly out there on Friday with some significant rainfall. This would be almost a half of a month's rainfall for August if this occurs. So this is going to be pretty impressive. And of course, for all of your service needs, whatever you need for uh, your weather needs, should I say, visit NYNJPA Weather as we have a variety of different services, including my weather concierge if you're just interested in severe weather and want to know what how it's going to impact your location. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.